What's up y'all? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla Janice and I'm back with another video. Actually the first video of 2023, okay? So chances are if you click this link, right? If you are on this page watching this video, that means that you are looking to have a successful 2023. You want to know what these three keys are and guess what? I got you. I know you're tired of feeling unfulfilled, tired of struggling within your purpose, tired of the same thing in this old hamster wheel that happens so i'm not gonna waste any more time i'm gonna get right into this video and yeah i pray it blesses you okay because these are three keys that will definitely help you so the first key of having a successful prosperous meaningful 2023 the first thing you want to do is you want to write the vision okay a lot of times, if you are finding yourself without success, if you are finding yourself unfulfilled, your day does not have any direction. You're moving aimlessly without through the day, okay? You don't have any vision. So you want to make sure that you write the vision. The scriptures will tell us you have to write the vision and make it plain, okay? You want to make sure that you are writing down whatever God gives you. And please don't make the mistake that I've made in the past, okay? It's been times where God has given me a vision and I go to... Um, like say, okay, I'm going to remember it. Like I might be laying down, I might be walking, talking, whatever. And then I'm like, okay, I'm going to remember it because it's so it's so significant, right? Like it's like a mark in your head. You already know it. But then time passes and then you forget. And I find myself like, God, please bring it back to my remembrance. So when you're writing the vision, you want to make sure that you're writing down whatever God gave you, whatever those things are he stored in your heart, those desires that align with his will. You want to make sure that you're writing the vision down, that place you see yourself in your fullness, in, in the fullness of what he created you to be and to do, okay? Whatever it is. First key, write the vision. It's going to give you direction. It gives you something to work for. It gives you something to hope for. So much in the vision. And then you see it come to pass, okay? First key, write the vision. Second key, your belief system. You can write the vision all day, but if you don't believe, then what are you doing? Okay, you definitely don't want to go through this year being double-minded. You don't want to go through this year with this uh, poor belief system where you're believing things that don't work for you. Like if you look at it, the way you believe things that haven't been fruitful in your belief, it really hasn't gotten you many places, right? Like I noticed myself at the end of 2022 that I had to change my belief system. That looked like me doing more internal work, more spiritual work, and being very, very intentional about conversations I was having, places I was going, things I was doing. Because a lot of things, are, we're a product of our environment sometimes, right? Like, you, if you're not taught something, you don't know it until you learn. You're like, oh, dang, I wish I would have known that, right? So you want to make sure you're being intentional about what you believe. For me, what I did was I wrote down all the characteristics of God, things that I know are true. And I challenge myself internally with things that I don't believe that come against, right? Scripture will also tell us to cast down those thoughts, take them into captivity. So I had to come against those thoughts, things that was like, well, why do you think that? If he said you'll be the head and not the tail, why do you think he wouldn't provide? Why do you think he provided with this and not with that? So I really, really worked through that internally. But again, belief system for you might look like reading more books, putting yourself in more positive environments, being intentional about your morning routine. I'm going to be real. I don't do it every morning, but some mornings I have positive things on first thing in the morning, right after prayer, maybe taking my kids to school. We do love a good Steve Harvey morning show, but sometimes I play affirmations. Sometimes I play Eric Thomas. Sometimes I play um just some like motivation where they clip them together on youtube and i play those there's so many different ways that you can go about having a productive morning and changing your belief system okay third key get with god and when you get with god stay with god right like if you look all of these work together in sync all of these things work together for your good when you work it you want to make sure that you're getting with god and staying with god Again, if you click this video, you're looking for something. If you click this video, you want to change something. You want something to change for 2023. And I believe that it will for you, right? And these are things that I've been through myself. And at the end of 2022, when I was getting with God, making my space, clearing the way for 2023, and just getting before God, 
what was shown to me, what was revealed to me was these three keys to share. And it's like, you know, as simple as they may be, how meaningful, how large of the door, how large of the gateway, right? Like, oh yeah, if if I could write the vision, okay, then, okay, now I know I'm moving this way. This is where I'm headed, right? So no longer are you accepting invitations. That's not meaningful to your vision. If no longer are you investing in coaching programs or no longer are you buying materials that don't invest in the actual vision that you're working for, you're no longer working out of your flesh, but you're working now into the spiritual realm in which God has called you to be and do, which is more. You have more. More is your portion. So those are the three keys I wanted to give you. If you want me to just make another video going into any more of these three keys maybe you want to know more about a belief system routine how to dismantle your current belief system and go more towards the positive let me know um yeah and that's it and if you're still watching this video you are so bomb and so dope okay in 2023 i mean i'm telling you it is so much opportunity ahead but what's the thing you got to believe you have to believe it you have to believe the visions will come to pass that you have you have to believe that it is your portion it will and it can't happen how about that okay so don't forget subscribe like to the channel we are growing honey we just hit 11 subscribers and i say that with a smile because we are on our way okay we are getting there subscribe to this channel and like and comment and share. How about share this message? Share it, share it and be a key. Share it and unlock somebody else. Unlock somebody else, okay, who you know can be blessed by this message. Until next time, be safe. You are so dope and you got this.